Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today we are going to talk about how to manifest beautiful soulmate relationships. Whether you're looking to manifest friends, a lover, a relationship, a spouse, or even if you have these relationships in your life already and you're just going through some difficult times with them and you're looking to get back to that beautiful place where things flow smoothly, these are my tips. Tip number one that I want to talk about is so important and this is actually the feng shui of your home home or your space. It is so energetically aligned with your life, it's not even funny. So if you're trying to manifest a relationship, say that you're single, what you need to do is make sure that your bed is accessible from both sides. You don't know, make room for a partner in your life physically. When they enter your bedroom, do they have a space to sleep? Do they have an empty drawer that they might be able to put things in? Do you have certain items just in case a special guest comes over? like? an extra towel or soap or a spare toothbrush. Do you have these things prepared for your soulmate? If you live by yourself and you're looking to manifest more friends or a romantic partner into your life, do you have enough space at your dining room table for them? Do you even have a dining room table? If you don't, do you have space in your living room or eating area for guests to stay and feel comfortable and have personal space? Do you even have enough plates and glasses for people to enter your life. So first and foremost, make room for these soulmates. Also, furthering into this point even more, does the objects in your home align themselves with the energy of soulmates? So perfect example, if you're in your bedroom, does the art on the walls reflect the energy of loving soulmate relationships? So one thing that they say in Feng Shui is that in your bedroom, you don't wanna have pictures of your family or children because, you know, think about it. Would you want your children there in your bedroom watching what's going down? No, you don't. So it's just not a good place for that. A living room is much better. And also the artwork should reflect love. Pick artwork that is in twos is what I would recommend. Okay, so instead of having one single painting of a bird, have two birds or have two of something. The artwork in your home is a deep reflection of the energy that you carry. It's an extension of yourself and that's why it's so easy to manifest using your home kind of like as a wand that is an extension of your energy and energy attracts like energy so if you fill your space your home with things that align with what you want then you are going to have a much easier time manifesting. I have a formula that attracts soulmates, guys. And I developed, I, it didn't come from me originally. I'll be straight up. I've been doing psychic medium readings for many, many years now. And lots of people come to me for love advice. You know, when am I gonna attract my soulmate, how? And I've noticed this kind of formula that spirit has been bringing to these people throughout the years on how to attract their soulmate. And it always starts with this. Imagine your life right now. Imagine, you know, some angel or whatever came down and told you that you're gonna be single for the rest of your life. There's nothing you can do to change it. You're just gonna be on your own, okay? Imagine this scenario in your head. What would you do differently right now in the present moment to make your life as beautiful, happy, fulfilling as possible? What would you do differently? Instead of waiting around for a soulmate to go traveling, for example, maybe you would start booking those trips on your own or with friends or you know, just doing it anyway. What would you do differently if you were given the knowledge that you would be single for the rest of your life? Write it down if you have to, okay? Really put yourself into this visualization. The answers that you come up with is the formula to what will attract your soulmate. Soulmates enter your life when you least need them. Let me repeat that again. Soulmates enter your life when you least need them. So when you are happy and fulfilled, you don't even have to be happy because happy is a fleeting emotion, right? When you are fulfilled and have your own little life path aligned of growth and potential and abundance, 
then a soulmate will enter your life. And that's why this visualization is so important because sometimes we get into this state of kind of just waiting and waiting and waiting for friends, for a relationship, but you're really putting your own life on pause and Spirit's saying when you're in that energy of waiting, you're not really going to attract a soulmate to you. Now, this isn't to say that you can't use dating apps and go on dates and meet new people. Not at all. It's just saying if you're Finding yourself waiting to live your life and do the things you want to do um, in order to have a soulmate, then you need to be doing that for yourself right now as you're on the hunt for a soulmate, okay? So I'll give you an example. The last time that I was single, you know, I really just wanted to snuggle. Like, that's what I really wanted. And I was kind of sad because I didn't have anyone to snuggle. So what I did was I bought the most luxuriously cozy blanket and I cleaned my bedroom, cleaned my space, lit some candles, and I would have these little date nights with myself where I would literally just snuggle under this big blanket and watch movies and I was snuggling myself yeah sure I had stuffed animals I had animals actual animals um <laughs> pan to my two cats there hi and it was fine you know I fulfilled that need myself at least a little bit you know I wasn't in this energy of oh my gosh I'm so lonely I just want to be snuggly right now what I would do was when I found myself thinking that I'd be like you know what I'm an independent woman, I can snuggle myself. And then I'd get into that energy. Lo and behold, literally like three weeks after I started doing this, I was in a relationship with someone that I was seeing. So it all worked out. And it's funny because I am actually like super duper snuggly with this person. Like one of our routines is getting on the couch and getting snuggly under a blanket and watching movies like a lot. The thing that I did to be happy on my own, I manifested in this other person. Another thing that I would say is to let yourself know that it's okay that you don't have anyone right now. You know, it's totally okay. If you feel like you have no friends whatsoever, that's totally fine. Look at this moment in your life as an opportunity to reconnect with yourself. Instead of viewing it in this light of, I'm so lonely, no one's here, blah, 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 and your mind keeps feeding into that loop, shift gears a little bit and realize, you know what, I'm lonely right now, I'm alone right now, right? And that's totally fine. This just gives me an opportunity to spend more time focusing on me and the things that I like doing. So whenever I found myself in that state of mind, I would say, well, this is a good opportunity to focus on the solo hobbies that I have, you know? I started quilting. I started painting more. I was really listening to the music that I liked listening to that I forgot about. I really reconnected with myself and what I enjoy doing in my alone time. You know, I would have these little dates with myself where I would smoke weed and get cozy under a blanket and watch really old movies. <laughs> I don't even smoke anymore, but you know, it's just what I did at the time with myself. I really cherished that relationship that I had with myself. And you know, I kept saying, it's fine that I don't have anyone right now. Relationships, they take, I, I, I want to say friendships, actually. Friendships take a while to build, you know, it's not something that necessarily happens overnight. So I would just tell myself, it's okay that I'm here. It's okay I don't have that many friends at this moment in my life. Lo and behold, a few months later, I have tons of friends. I am going to social events every week. So I just really loved my alone time. I stopped resisting it and I started viewing being alone as an opportunity to reconnect with myself. And I think that was one of the biggest turning points. And honestly, if you are using fear of being alone, as a reason to stay in bad friendships or relationships, I'm telling you right now, stop it, okay? Because I did that myself, you know, I had some friends that were really toxic, really toxic, like I have trauma from them. And I stopped fearing being alone. I did a reading for myself and that message came through, stop fearing being alone because being alone will make you more peaceful than surrounding yourself with these people who just bring so much negative energy to your life. And so I did have a friendship breakup with a handful of people all at once. It was a lot to go through. I'm not gonna lie and say that there wasn't a mourning period involved with that, but I viewed that as a time to get to know myself better. And honestly, the feeling of being alone was way better than being surrounded by toxic people. So when you take all of these steps and you implement them into your life, you're just going to kind of naturally attract people into your life. When you enjoy the relationship that you have with yourself, the 
outer reality that surrounds you has no choice but to reflect relationships back to you. That's how it works. Your external reality is showing you your internal reality. So when you keep saying like, I can't do blank until I have a partner or I, I can't do blank until I have friends or man, I just can't wait for this. Where is it at? When you're in that energy of waiting and where is it at? and you know, I need this, it's not gonna come to you. But once you step into the, you know what, it's okay that I'm here right now, I can make the most of this, and you actually start vibing with yourself, that is when soulmates hit you right in the face. <laughs> and it, you'll be shocked at how quickly this will work, guys. It will come in so quick for you. It's not saying you have to stop searching if you're dating, if you're on dating apps, if that's what you intuitively feel drawn to do, but you know, I'm just saying, try it out, try these tips out, okay? Do you have any other tips that you would recommend to the people watching? Leave them in the comment section. Thank you guys for joining me. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. I love you all, and I will see you for the next video. Bye-bye.